Well people, Sunday morning, we've got the keys now for his property. I thought I'll show you around it and see what we're going to do to it. And see what you think. Well for starters, this is a two up, two, back, uh, two down terrace. We're going to get it all sandblasted and fresh pointed out the, out the front. Sort this bit of a garden area out. Probably put some broken slate in there to make tidy it up. As you come through, stud wall vestibule coming down. I've stripped a bit of wallpaper already. Been plastered before, but we'll get that skimmed again. No problem there. The old fireplace will be coming out. Lovely wood chip on the ceiling. That'll be getting overboarded. Big heavy radiators getting pulled off for the scrap then. And then you come into the open dining room kitchen. We've just been ripping this out this morning, maybe all the rubber. This used to be a stud wall here, a bit of a games kids room I think it were. But the old can all that carry on a wall. Might keep that. But yeah, it's a good project for me and our loot. We're going to pull the old fireplace back out, put a log burner in on that chimney breast. Fresh kitchen back in, make it all nice and fresh again. All the plasterboard there, we need to get rid of it, we need to get a skip ordered. As you can see, all the waste wood and the kitchen's in the back and a bit of carpet. We're going to go that to, take that to the tip. Or might have a look, might take it down his pen and use a freebie two up on his pen. A few more niggly bits. Not a bad size backyard. There's Big Blue. She's got a bit of scrap in her. Need to chuck all this brass and stuff out of here. We'll end up uh, taking all the copper out of this. That's a good way in. That'll probably pay for a skip. It has got a bit of damp in places, but our Peter, my older brother's a plasterer. He'll knock all that back for us and sand and cement it and tank it. It has had a, a damp course, I don't know if you can see that underneath the radiator where the, uh, where the cold bricks have been drilled. So yeah, good project. I'll show you upstairs in a minute, see what you think. Our Luke just took his uh, little lad playing football this morning, so I might be here. On me on singing to myself. Right, I'll show you upstairs. Well, our Luke's back now with us people. We'll show you upstairs now. Just done a bit more ripping out, we've ripped the floor up in here, and the vestibule's down as you can see. Just waiting for an electrician to come to disconnect all the wires and just going to put us a temporary socket on. Oh, more papers more of this stripped in here. Do you want to show them upstairs Luke? Yeah, got a look around, come on. Show them what we're going to do. I'm just going to sweep this backyard. No problem Pat. This is the upstairs. It's a two bedroom at the moment, this is the front room. We're going to be pulling this wall out and these brick walls, these are all going to be coming down. Uh, this is going to be made level here with a stud wall to make a bathroom in the middle of the house. There's a bathroom at the back here. And we've got a car batch out at loft. <laughs> Combi's going downstairs into the kitchen. That's an old one that's going to be coming out that will be getting stripped, I'll show you that. The uh, the bathroom is going to be coming across here from from this wall here right out, and we'll make a little bathroom in here, a little bedroom there, be a window in. This will be made back into a bedroom, so then we'll get this three little one two um, yeah two small rooms. We get doubles in, and uh, one big room. The loft is actually massive up there. Uh, but it's just um, there's not enough money in it to do a loft conversion to make that into a room, so we're going to leave that. But yeah, there's plenty of scope with this learning curve, really, but we'll get there. It's looking well. Put that down here. Yeah, it's not so bad, so like I say, we'll keep you updated as we go along. I think next thing is to, like I say, get sparking and do all that, get all them uh, wires tied up, then we can rip all that out. I can, I'm gonna do all, I'm not, I'm not touching gas, but I can do all the water side and put all the stop ends and rip all this copper pipe out. It's all going back in plastic it at to all anyway, so it doesn't matter to us. That can be weird, in. all the radiators can be gone. Under drone ceiling going in here. So we'll rip all that out and get that under drone. 
Not too, we're not made up 100% what we're doing in the kitchen yet, have you watched Shaper out? Not yet, no. We'll get, probably get overwhelmed, doesn't it? Yeah, probably. Have a, we'll have a good look around. Big blue van's coming in. Worth its weight in gold is that van. It's been brilliant, hasn't it? Full to bring with rubbish. There's a bit of old carpet out here. Like you say, you wouldn't believe how much timber or rubbish bits of plaster will come out. Like I say, that's nearly, nearly full. Oh, we uh, rubbish out of the house. So, it's going to go to the local landfill site uh, now. Let's go and get charged and a ticket for that so we can see where that's gone. Right. I think we'll end it here, Dino. Yeah, yeah. And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll need a bit of attention, isn't it? Yeah, Flora here, we're going to have some, probably about five, six bags of self leather in there. It's a big belly in that, and a big dip in there. It's probably a bit of mixer instead of it. Yeah, we'll sand and cement it. See how it goes. Right, we'll end it here. We'll catch up with you when we're back here. Welcome back, people. Uh, it's the day after from last time you've seen us. The reason we haven't been doing many videos last, last week because we would have sorted all the house out, obviously. We didn't really have much time. But the big blue is up for sale now because we've bought this crew cab. It's not a tipper, but it'll do the job. Plenty of MOT on it, 60 plate transit. One owner from New, so from a company. It'll do the job. Seats in the back. Everything works fine on it. You'll not miss us driving up and down that big yellow bugger. Picked the insignia up yesterday, automatic. I think that's a 60 plate or a 10 plate. That's ready to go to the yard. Just put myself a little old Fiesta Courier van, you know the big old square one, R Edge, from a friend of mine over in Cone. So I'm gonna go and pick that up this morning. I'm just gonna go and pick Christopher up, his friend. He's gonna help us do some house bashing. I'm gonna get him stripping the wallpaper because I hate that job. So yeah, I'm gonna go and empty a big blue sprint at the waste transfer station later on as well. Then she's going up for sale. If anyone's interested, I'll take £800 for her. She's a real money maker, as you know. She's still got MOT for a couple of months as well. So, right, I'm going to go and pick Chris up now. I'll be back with you shortly. Well, people, we're back at the house now. We've exposed the fireplace, the log burner's going to be. If I sound a bit muffled, I've got a bloody mask on for the dust. So we're going to big things to start yeah, nice old big original piece. So all that's going to be opened up. Um, this floor's going to be redone. It's the right bloody mess. Yeah. It's all over the floor. We've ripped all the skirting boards in. Skirting boards are off. Floor's up now. All the floor is down. Vestibles out. Vestibles down. So I think Chris has been on with some up bathroom up there. He's been ripping all the paling out, hasn't he? Yeah. He's pulled up the things off. So yeah, we're just getting this all done, wait if it skips coming on Friday. So we're gonna get all the shots out ready. We'll try and get a few cars waiting for you guys as well. I know you enjoy that obviously that's the main uh, thing for the channel. As you can see the transits outside there. We've been loaded up soon with some bits of bats. <laughs> we still have bits and bats, you know. So oh, I need to order some new doors and windows as well for this house. Got a plumber coming to, to cap the gas off so we can rip the boiling out and all that carry on. Get these radiators weighed in and get it all, cop all the copper out, got the prices up. <laughs> so, apart from that, well, like, well, apart from that, it's all, it's all hands to the pump, we'll go. We're going to get it flipped around, we're going to get it sold. We were going to think about renting it, but we're going to sell it while well, things are selling. Get it on the market and hopefully make a bit of profit out of it. So, right, we're going to carry on with this and we'll show you some more very soon. We're going to bring on a quick update now. Plumber's bin, it's cut the gas off now, so we can strip all the copper out. Radiators have come off. We've got Chris doing hammer drill here. Radiators off now. I've knocked the full fireplace out. Maybe. So, that's all right, we'll move all fire in. Go on, Chris. Plumber's also been his um, 
was just going to be the in a push up bottom for the middle elite when Sophie was sunk out. So luckily he turned up at the right time and going to do that. In front of the temporary water shaft feeding. I had to break the old uh, stop tap cast manhole lid because it would see solid and we concreted up to it so we need a new lid on there. I don't know if you see down there, it's a bit dirty and dark. So make sure it's a bit blocked up. Yeah, things are moving quite fast at the moment. Let's see what stairs, see what Chris has been doing upstairs as well. Come back there Chris. Right, there, I'm going to take it there, there's it top out now. Top of the towels out. Come, if you come out now. That's going to come out and be stripped. Shower and all that. We've waited for electrician now. Then we can uh, get a temporary uh, double socket put in for a cell for power. We can get rid of all the wires now, fill them up. Then we can rip all the wiring out then. But yeah, it's looking good. Right, we'll give you uh, another update very shortly. End of the day when we're setting up home, we'll give you another quick update. See you soon. Well, people, that's enough work for today. So we're finishing knocking this plaster off tomorrow morning and give a good clean up. So let me know if you want any more videos on the, the house bashing side of things. And obviously with the cars, we've, we've still got a few bits to weigh in and pick up, so we'll get them filmed as well. Uh, so it'll be like I say on and off now for the next couple of weeks while we get this sorted. So don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one.